So let's skip the percussion skimming to to the delay. So we have up the delay. What have we got? The delay. We've got delay high low. So seven is going to change the cutoff filter of the delay to something lower. So let's change it low. Push again back high. Again it's down low. What else we got? We got sync time, which is meant for you. So we push this. It's going to go. At a quarter beat now. Push it again, it's going to go to five. Push it again, it's going to go to six. Push seven, so it goes up high again. So you get the idea. And shift the tree to turn it off. Um, I'll just send something to the loop because that's quite a fun one to play with. So we'll put Techie Bit 3 on. So I want to loop this, right? So I'm going to go Shift G, and that's going to send this sound to the to the looper. But I only want to do one loop, so I go two, three, four. Now I can stop that. So here we've got that loop, which I've just sent to the loop. Um, if we look here, what we've got. So the looper, the loop parameters are on nine, zero, and L and the period T. So let's see what 9 does. So 9 will, nine will stop the delay. Push O. So that's missing the that's not a chorus. That's very strange. And let's push L. That's very, very strange. And push period T. Really, really strange. So let's turn on the gate to come to the lane in the filter. And uh, what I do is I push 9 and that'll set the feedback to 0 so it'll stop the loop. Okay, okay so those are the um, the sends and that's how they work. I hope you have a lot of fun with them. They're, they're, I, I run 8 in my live set and I've got kind of all kinds of strange VSTs and machines which I use to make all the sounds. Um, throughout those, um, I, I've stuck to all Ab Ableton Live friendly effects for, for this set just so everybody can open it. Yeah, um, I think that's about it. Just looking at this key thing, um, you've also got, you can also send a send to a send. Um, you've got to be really careful with doing that because, I mean, if you send send A to send B and then send, send B to send A, it's going to create a loop and you're going to get a sound burst and it's going to be really, really nasty. So uh, I, I've disabled. The option to do that initially but if you decide that you want to actually start playing around with that just do be careful because you can really damage your ears if you if you get lost into a into a cyclic feedback loop um this is done by holding down shift and pushing seven down eight down nine down and zero down so they'll that'll send send a to send b send a to send c and and so on um the keys that i put in green these are kind of navigation keys which you can use to navigate around so you've got you know move left right up down page up page down return is enter which is select which is you know play a loop that kind of thing um, the slash key above the enter key will change the uh, quantization settings which is the the how long it takes to kick in the 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 clip which you've just started so you know when you click play it will wait, it'll wait a bar, but if you only want it to wait half a bar, you can push that key in, in, until it's on half a bar, and then you can change the. Uh, it's called quantization. I always have trouble saying that word. Um, space bar will stop and start the set. Um, be careful not to push it by accident if you're playing through a packed dance floor. Happens. I've done it quite a few times. Um, and if you hold down shift and push space, it'll start playing from where you last stopped. Yeah. So that's. Um, that's pretty much that's pretty much the geeky part of things. That's that's how I've laid it out. I've it's quite difficult to cover everything in this video. It's, it's already so much longer than it was gonna be. Um I'm sure some of you will will like the fact that I've made it this long though and um we'll get something out of it. Um hope it's not too boring. And yeah, have have a lot of fun with it, won't you? Yeah.